Well, it's the next day. I decided to take another shot at this, but when I blew the hole in this thing, kind of really messed it up. So I'm going to have to grind this off. So I'm going to try one of the other levers. Here's that first one that I tried welding before I had done any practice. It still mates up pretty decent if I can get these little balls of steel off of here. I'm just going to grind those off, clean it up a little bit. Alright, so I uh, ground off the little beads with the grinding wheel and then I cleaned it up with the wire wheel. I also cleaned off a spot on the handle so I can get a bit of ground. Cleaned off this also. Well, I decided to abandon the uh, pipe vise altogether because I didn't like the way it was holding it. And now I've got it clamped down with this seat clamp. And I've got this part clamped down so now both of my parts are fairly secure. I'm not crazy about the alignment but I think I might be able to be okay with that and hopefully I'll bridge that gap when I'm welding it. Alright so here's what I've opted to do. I'm gonna go with these. These are uh, 3 30 seconds diameter 6011 rods. These are also old but at least they were in some sort of a plastic container, so they might be okay to use. I'm going to turn my amperage way down to 75 because that should be hot enough for this small rod, and hopefully I won't burn through the uh, burn through the metal again. Big hole right through that. Uh, I'll try the lowest setting on this welder, which is 40 amps. Impressive. Oh, I don't even know if that's. I don't even know if that's fused together. Maybe just a little hotter. Sixty amps. Need another rod.
love that song. stink at this. Bet you that's gonna look like dog crap. That's one ugly weld. I believe that's what you guys call porosity in there. And I got this big hole now to deal with on this side. Well, the day's coming to an end. It'd be the perfect time to be doing some more welding because it's nice and cool. And it was hot under that helmet earlier today, but unfortunately, I don't know if I'm right. Well, let's see. Kids are actually down the street playing in a neighbor's. Maybe I might be able to sneak another weld in. Anyways, this is cooled off now. And I just want to show you guys that uh, as ugly as this looks, it's actually pretty strong. I mean, strong enough that it'll serve as a nice little tack weld to hold this together. And then I'm thinking now I'll uh, come back and try and weld this whole other side. And then if I uh, can get a decent weld there, then I can come back and grind off this mess and maybe touch it up or go over it with another bead. And then I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna deal with uh, this big giant hole I blew into the thing. So, I don't know. If you got suggestions for that, I'm wondering like, if I stuff steel wool in that hole with that you know, be enough of a backing to let me try and run a bead over it. Well, the uh, neighbor's going to keep the kids over there for a little bit. So I can do just maybe another 15 or 20 minutes of welding. So. It's still light enough that I can see what I'm doing. And like I said, it's cooler. Definitely more comfortable. Let's see, I think I'll keep it at that 60 amp setting that I had it on. There goes nothing. Things were going well until that rod got stuck and then, well, you saw what happened when it turned red hot, it turned into a wet noodle on me. Mm.
Can't get this camera to focus. Here's my lousy camera actually. It's going to focus on this better. But So there's the uh, there's the mess I did before. There's what I just did just now. So I got a little bit of a void there I've got to fill. Now, there we go. Reposition it so I can do this little area right here. Uh, camera angle's not very good there. Let's see. I'll try and give you guys a good look at it, but at the same time, I want to kind of give myself room to work. See if I rest my hand down here, I think this will be better. Oops. long of an arc. I thought I had decent control of it, but I kind of lost it there. That's the mess I just made just now. I've actually got pretty much a bead all the way around now. A real mess. Looks like some real porosity on the back there. But I could bridge that little gap there. Then I could grind this and see how it looks. Pretty ugly, huh? Well, my stupid camera shut off, so I don't know what you missed there, but I had to play with the selector switch to get the uh, welder to work on 40 amps. I wiggled it back and forth a couple times and then it started working again. I think I was able to get that small hole a little bit smaller. It's uh, still ugly. <laughs> I didn't get very far at all before I ran out of rods, so let's try a new, uh, for lack of a better term, we'll call it new rod. <laughs>
Hey guys, I did it. I sealed that hole. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try and break the slag off of that patch and see what it looks like underneath. Oop! <laughs> Not quite there yet. Uh, kids just wanted to see what I was doing, so I had to stop and explain to them what I was doing. And hey, they think it's a great job. <laughs> but what I started to do is I was trying to, trying to knock the slag off of my patch over here, and I found out that the center of my hole was actually just slag. So. <laughs> But you can see it's well, it's better. Come on, focus. Ah, uh, see that's why I don't like using this camera. I'll try a shot with the other one. There we go. So that's significantly smaller. I kind of built it up around the edge. I think I could just keep doing that. And uh, but I'm out of time tonight. I got to go tuck the kids in. One last shot before I clean up for the night after I've wire brushed it. Certainly not going to win any awards, but it actually seems pretty strong. I mean, I'm not going to be putting that much force on this thing unless I drop the backhoe attachment on it again. <laughs> 